Dr. William Royal, principal at Joan Marshall High School. Parents, students, families, and our friends of the Joan Marshall family, we are pleased that you have chosen to share this special occasion with us. We ask your cooperation as we proceed with our commencement activities. Please give each graduate the honor he or she so richly deserves. We realize your excitement on reaching this milestone. You and the graduates have worked so hard to make this dream a reality. Therefore, we ask that you applaud their achievements in a way that will not distract from the dignity of the occasion. Please refrain from whistling, name calling, or loud outbursts. As you have supported Joan Marshall through the years, I'm sure we can count on your support in our culminating activity for the 2019 graduating class.
Would everyone please rise for this Pledge of Allegiance, please? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the country for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Please be seated. Welcome to our 138th John Marshall High School commencement ceremony. Today is truly a great day to be a justice. Our graduates are closing a chapter in their lives and beginning a new volume. They have accomplished so many things throughout their journey here and they deserve to enjoy every commencement. We know that everyone has been anticipating this moment for what seems like an eternity. We want to thank you for entrusting your child's education to us. We appreciate your support and cooperation over the last four years. I congratulate and thank each one of you for helping your child remain focused and reaching this milestone. The program will proceed as printed. It is my great pleasure that I present our stage participants and I ask that you hold your applause until each section has been introduced. Each stage participant is asked to stand as they call his or her name and remain standing until the entire section has been introduced. On my far right is Dr. Tracy Epp, Chief Academic Officer. Mr. Excuse me, the Honorable Scott Barlow, Second District Representative to our School Board. Ms. Kenya Gibson, third district representative to the school board, the Honorable Dawn Page, chairperson and eighth district representative, and Mr. Jason Cambris, superintendent of Richmond Public Schools. If you'll please, please be seated. On the second row on my left is Ms. Chanel Lewis, graduation counselor, Ms. Sherita Harris, school guidance counselor, Ms. Jackson Jones, School Guidance Counselor, and Ms. Brittany Everett of the Future Center. If you'll please be seated. On the first row, Ms. Camille Battle, Student Support Services Department Head, Ms. Jade Smith, Salutatorian, Ms. Alexis Stokes, Valedictorian. Mr. Chester Smith, Assistant Principal, and Ms. Walsh, Assistant Principal. Thank you, if you'll be seated. Our organist today is Ms. Diane Briggs-Bacon. Please give their, her our recognition. In the audience, we also have members of our faculty and staff of John Marshall High School, Spartan Academy, PLC, Dr. Randall Gresham and Dr. Roderick Gresham, excuse me, Roderick Gresham, John M. alumni, our Grand Marshals for John Marshall for the last 29 years. We also have, we also have our senior class sponsors, Mr. Elijah Freeman and Ms. Tracy Oliver. We have our department heads, teachers, and other staff members. Additionally, we please recognize those teachers, if they'll rise, please, from all the different schools. These people have put in tireless effort as dedicated professionals to help students reach this point in their lives. At this point, I would like the supporters of the graduates to stand parents, family, relatives who have supported our graduates. Please be seated. A 
At this point, I ask Ms. Dawn Page, Chair of the Richmond School Board, to come forward. Good afternoon to our faculty, staff, parents, and family of our graduating class of John Marshall High School 2019. I bring you greetings on behalf of the Richmond City School Board. And before I take my seat, I would like to leave the graduating class of John Marshall High School with this message. I hope your dreams take you to the corners of your smiles. To the highest of your hopes, the windows of your opportunities, and to the most special places your heart has, has ever known. So as you cherish the fruits of your hard work, I wish that success keeps following you in everything that you do, today and always. Congratulations, and again, congratulations, graduates of John Marshall High School. Thank you. Good evening, friends, family, staff, and John Marshall class of 2019, and of course, the security in the back. Today, we are here to embark on a new chapter in life, but before we do that, I would like to take a walk down memory lane. If I do say so myself, ninth grade year was my favorite year at John Marshall. It taught me how to survive. I learned how to duck and weave in the cafeteria. I had constant exercise through the many, many, many fire drills. I took many drafty walks down the science hall, and I accidentally donated a phone or two to John Marshall's Lost and Found, except we don't have one. S sophomore and junior year went by fast. I honestly cannot recall anything except the teachers that I've had along my journey. Through those years, I had the teacher, Mr. Gallegos. Now, Mr. Gallegos, he was different. He was never mad, ever. I couldn't understand it, but it was nice having a teacher who wouldn't get mad at you even if he wanted to. But he did teach me a valuable lesson, that no matter the situation, to just smile and keep smiling. Well, at least until you get home. Senior year was nothing like I expected it to be. Whoever says senior year was the easiest deserves a Nobel Prize for the lie they told. <laughs> or they just didn't tell Ms. Coleman. Six essays, 40 terms to define, 30 open-ended questions, and a summary on each article in the Constitution due in three days may have broken my spirit but I thank her for preparing me for how college will be. Senior year has been a real eye opener. I didn't know deciding your future would be this hard. At the end of the day, this is my choice, your choice, no one else's. Deciding the road that you wanna go down, you making your own decisions, and ultimately deciding your future. No one is going to hold your hand anymore. The thing we've been doing since we were five years old is coming to an end, and now we must start this journey where we become the leaders. We become the decision makers, and we decide what's best for us. <laughs> it took me a while to write this speech because I couldn't accept that this was the end of something I've been doing since I was a little kid. I couldn't accept that I wouldn't be seeing some of you guys again. Well, not until Kaylin Dark, our class president, plans our 10 to 20 year class reunion. Hopefully by then, Jonteja will have on her glasses. <laughs> Talking to a lot of you guys, you know for a fact what you want to do with your lives, whether that's going to a four-year institution, community college, the job corp, or just getting money, as Javon will put it, you have a plan. <laughs> I didn't make it here on my own, though. I'd like to thank Ms. Waller for making me realize passing SOLs aren't always easy. I would like to thank Ms. Coleman for showing me how it feels to wake up at 12 in the morning because you have an assignment due in a few hours. 
I would like to thank Ms. Wingfield for making me look at everything in a new light. And lastly, but certainly not least, I would like to thank God because without him, I would not be here today. <laughs> Leaving today, I know the focus will be the after graduation festivities. Plus, Kaylin told me not to take too long because of their graduation dinner. But I want everyone to leave out with one simple thought. You made it. No matter the lack of support, when you were at your lowest and felt like school was not for you and you continued to stick through it, you made it. Even when people tried to put you down and tell you that you wouldn't even touch a diploma, you made it. You're not another stereotype to society because instead of letting your circumstances define who you are, you're here. We made it. Good evening, everyone. I am extremely honored to be this year's valedictorian. Today, 
We join in celebration of us. No matter your ranking, we all share the same importance. High school has been full of surprises and life-altering moments. These four years have, been, have propelled us toward who we want to be in life. We have cried, laughed, and smiled together. John Marshall isn't just a place where we went to learn. It has taught us many valuable lessons aside from academics. We've learned that in life you will lose people, but it is okay because that comes with growth. It's given us a chance to have a voice, not only in the school system, but in RPS as well, through programs such as the Superintendent's Student Advisory Cabinet. John Marshall has shown us the beauty of meeting people and developing new bonds. I would like to share a poem that I wrote inspired by all of the amazing people that I've met at 4225 Old Brook Road. This poem is called, We Did It. We did it to the hard worker. We did it to the silent one in the back afraid to raise his hand. We did it to the athlete. We did it to the boy who they called a criminal because he made a simple mistake. We did it to those who thought we couldn't. We did it. To those who started off a little rocky, but in the end overcame it all, <laughs> we did it. To the one that they labeled as weird because he wasn't afraid to be himself, we did it. To the amazing poet afraid to share her marvelous words of wisdom with others, we did it. To the counselor and teacher and future center coordinator who didn't give up on us, we did it. To the parents and the community who helped raise us, we did it. To my classmates, we did it. Oh yes, we did it. And the future is ours. I would like to conclude by saying that success is defined by your own standards. We are full of potential and brightness, which enables us to create our own path. We don't have to compare our process with anyone else's because we aren't living to keep up with others. RPS is filled with amazing students who are destined for greatness. Sitting in this room today, we have entrepreneurs, presidents, and overall successful people. My wish for every graduate today is to never, never, never let an obstacle diminish your smile because you can and you will prevail through all things. As we leave here today, let's not view this moment as an ending, but instead as a new beginning of endless possibilities. Class of 2019, we have left our mark here, but now it's our time to make our mark on the world. Let's go be great. Thank you. Good afternoon. On behalf of Ms. Sharita Harris, Mrs. Natasha Jackson-Jones, and the Student Support Services Department, we would like to congratulate each of you on a job well done. It has been an honor and a privilege to serve as your school counselors. Commencement is defined as a beginning. We look forward to each of you doing great things after graduation. Many of you have plans to attend a four-year or two-year university. Others would attend a technical school or enter the workforce. Much success to each of you in your future endeavors. The class of 2019 has received approximately 1,822,932 dollars in scholarships alone. In addition, many of them have received several federal and state grants to further their education. Special thank you to Ms. Brittany Everett, Future Center Director, who is very instrumental in helping students identify and apply for scholarships and financial aid. At this time, I would like to recognize 12 seniors with the highest grade point averages in the class. When your name is called, Please stand and remain standing until all names have been called. Who could not be ranked, but is ranked in the top of the class with a 3.78 GPA, attending Old Dominion University, Diamond Berkeley. Number 10, with a GPA of 3.76, attending Norfolk State University, Marquis Watson. Number nine, with a GPA of 3.82, entering the workforce, Raynard Harris. 
Number eight, with a GPA of 3.84, attending Virginia Union University, Destiny Butler. <laughs> Number seven, GPA 3.86, attending Norfolk State University, Miera Warden. Number six, with a GPA 3.9, attending Norfolk State University, Kaylin Dark. Number five, the GPA of 4.05, attending Virginia State University, Dominique Ross. Number four, the GPA of 4.17, attending Norfolk State University, Amir Robinson. Number three, with the GPA of 4.25, attending Norfolk State University, Unique Bennett. Unique is also our ECA student who has already graduated with her associate's degree. Could not be ranked, but with a 4.33 attending Norfolk State University, Raven Harris. Salutatorian with a 4.46 GPA attending North Carolina A&T University, Jay Smith. And our valedictorian with a GPA of 4.57 attending University of Virginia, Alexis Stokes. Thank you. You may be seated. The greatest gifts are not wrapped in paper, but in love. This year, I received the best gift ever to spend my birthday watching each of you receive your high school diploma. Always remember, you're braver than you believe, stronger than you seem, smarter than you think, and love more than you know. Congratulations to the entire class of 2019. Thank you. Tonight, I'm speaking to the graduates and the people who love them. I want you to know that I am beyond honored to have been asked to charge the class of 2019. I told this group a few years ago that I'd probably be leaving with them. Graduates, guess what? This is the last Sue Walsh speech you're going to have to endure. <laughs> So let's make it a classic, shall we? A little about me. I grew up the poor kid in an all-white middle-class town in northeastern Pennsylvania. I was a project kid. My father, my father, although he got sober in my adult years, was drug and alcohol addicted in my youth and my mother suffered some serious depression. As a result, I, like many of you, ended up raising my siblings. It was frustrating, and it was hard, and I never really got to be a kid. But that sort of upbringing prepared me, sort of prepared me, for my life's work with the children of Richmond. I say sort of, because although I've lived through many of the horrors you have lived, I didn't have the added hardship of being a person of color. And because I grew up in an all-white, and I mean all-white community, I did not understand racism. I always just thought people were people, and we all had the same crap. It took me years to get it. One day in the 90s, I read something that a young rapper had written, and the light came on, and from that moment, I became the greatest English teacher Richmond had seen. Because not only could I teach the hell out of an English class, I really understood the heart and soul of my kids. 
The piece goes like this. You try to plant something in the concrete, you know what I mean? If it grow and the, and the rose petal got all kind of scratches and marks, you're not going to say, damn, look at all those scratches and marks on that rose that grew from the concrete. You're going to be like, damn, a rose grew from the concrete? Same thing with me, you know what I mean? I grew out of all this. Instead of saying, damn, he did this, he did this, just be like, damn, he grew out of that? He came from that? That's what I should say, they should say. You know what I mean? All the trouble to survive and make good out of that dirty, nasty, you know what I mean? Unbelievable lifestyle they gave me. I'm just trying to make something. Class of 2019, like Tupac, you did outgrow all of this. You grew up in a concrete jungle. You struggled to survive. You went hungry and were homeless and had no lights and no water and times where it seemed that you had no one to help you and in many cases that was true. You grew up in a world when so many people look at the color of your skin and assume the worst. It's horrifying and it's brutal and yet here you are, a rose growing out of the concrete. And you have begun to bud. I say bud because you have not yet bloomed. That will take some time. And hell yes, you are going to have scratches and marks on your petals. But that will only enhance your beauty and they will be proof of your tenacity. Those scratches and marks say to the world, you tried to beat me down. You tried to step on me. You tried to smother me by not giving me any air. You tried to keep me stoned when I am a rose. And you did not, you did not succeed in killing me. Here I am, something living and beautiful in the midst of a world that is fake and bullying and belittling. It says, I have risen above your feeble attempts to put me down, to diminish me, to tell me I can't or I won't or I don't have or I'm not or I am less than you. And here's what you need to remember about those people. They are weak and operating from a sense of fear and inferiority and often a hidden agenda. They are the roses who were too weak or who refused to bloom. They are concrete. And I promise you there are plenty of people in this life who will try to diminish you, who will try to decimate your self-image and self-esteem who will tell you you are incapable of doing this or that. Hell, it happened to me a couple of weeks ago when somebody I've known for a year told me I was incompetent in my job. Honestly, it sent me to a tailspin and I was ready to quit, but then I remembered, yeah, I bloomed from the concrete too. I definitely, I definitely suffered some scratches from that encounter, but I knew what was said wasn't true. And guess what? Here I am, a full-grown rose, not as pretty as I used to be, maybe a little wilted, but I sure as hell am continuing to rise from the concrete, and you will too. I want you to know that you will find kindness in this earth, and you will need to cling to that, because the weak people, the unbloomed, who will try to belittle and harm you appear, you are going to have two choices. The first is to wither and die, and the second is to cling to those you need to know to be kind and upright. They will help you straighten your stem in defiance, live with the scratches on your petals, and continue to bloom. I hope the latter for you. You are strong. You are beautiful. You have a new soul in a world of opportunities. 
My worry, my worry is that some of you don't know those opportunities are available. And because you don't know they're available, you will succumb to the concrete. Do not do that. You cannot do that. Surround yourself with more roses. I know that each of you has made a close contact with a deeply caring teacher or a phenomenal counselor, custodian, security officer, cafeteria worker. When you find yourself wilting, reach out to one of them. Because even though you are leaving us, we will always care for you. As for me, I'm on social media. I will respond now that you're a graduate to a, a friend request, but stay out of my business, please. Seriously, if you find yourself succumbing to the concrete, reach out to me. I will not promise that I can force a bloom, but I will help you survive. And even if you don't reach out to me pri privately, I want you to know that while I will be gone from John Marshall, you will continue to see me in public. For sure, my bloom has faded, but you are still a bud. My plan is to help you bloom bright and beautiful. I am going to get rid of the concrete that is impeding your growth. Finally, to those people who love you, the people who love the graduates, as I pointed out, the world will beat down these young people as a matter of course. You know that. You have your own scratches and marks. So I charge you, no matter your frustration with so, slow growth, to continue to water, feed, and nurture these graduates. If everyone does that, this class will become a very, very beautiful bouquet of roses. Thank you and God bless. Mr. Camrus, honorable members of the school board, platform guests, parents, guardians, friends of John Marshall, and last but not least, the class of 2019. We are at the portion of the program for which you have been so patiently waiting, and I will not stand between the diplomas and the class of 2019. So I will keep it short, but for a moment, I wish to express sincere appreciation to the parents, guardians, and families of the class of 2019. On behalf of the administration, and the staff of John Marshall, we thank you for allowing this opportunity to impart knowledge to your child. We thank you for entrusting your child to us and allowing our staff to provide these young people with the appropriate knowledge and skills needed to be successful in the 21st century. Class of 2019, will you join me in thanking your parents and the loved ones for their support, words of encouragement, Thank you. Over the last four years, you have worked and studied, practiced and played, and grown mentally and physically. You are now ready to begin a new chapter in your lives as adult members of the world. As you reflect back when you were freshmen, new to John Marshall, think of your freshman picture as opposed to your senior picture. Wow. You have grown, you have matured, you have accomplished so much. You have overcome challenges and obstacles in your lives, but you never gave up. You are resilient and you persevered. As your principal, I want you to know that it has been an honor and a pleasure to work with each of you. You have grown in a fine group of young adults, and I have no doubt you are ready to conquer the world. To our parents, it has been a true joy to work with each of you. I want to thank you for your dedication and commitment. Yeah, we've had our bumps in the roads, but we're here. You persevered and never gave up on your child. 2019, 
I ask that you please do not allow this day to pass without thanking your parents, families, loved ones, and friends, and those that have supported you in reaching your graduation. Please remember the teachers, coaches, and other staff who have challenged you to think, analyze, and to devise new ways to gain new knowledge and to grow. Fifty years ago, the Marshallite, the John Marshall yearbook, noted the traditions and changes that mold John Marshall. It is true even today. John Marshall is a kaleidoscope. It has structure. It has patterns. They are definite. But within this structure, they are transitional, contrasting, and ephemeral. Behind the walls of John Marshall are the faces of people, enthusiasms, and traditions that mingled with the new attitudes and people that symbolize John Marshall, the joy and pride of the North, North Side. You are ready, respectful, and responsible John Marshall graduates. Today, I challenge each graduate to accomplish the impossible. Class of 2019, please rise. <laughs> Mr. Cameras, as the principal of John Marshall High School, I certify that the class of 2019 has met the requirements for graduation as mandated by the State Board of Education of the Commonwealth of Virginia and the School Board of the City of Richmond. By virtue of the authority vested in me, by the Commonwealth of Virginia and the Richmond City School Board. I hereby certify that the class of 2019 from John Marshall High School is ready to receive their diplomas. Class of 2019, please be seated. Guests, families, as we proceed with the program, we ask your cooperation. Please refrain from whistling, name calling, and loud outburst. Today, of all days, the attention should be on our graduates. Every parent deserves to hear his or her child name, and we appreciate your support. Samira Abdullah. Kendall Allen. Lovar Allen. Passionate Archie. Jarius Ashlock. Shanice Baker. Rodney Banks. Unique Bennett. Diamond Berkeley. Chaz Berry. Sherrod Bradshaw. Najee Bowling. Jaisha Bonaparte. Say 
Jasmine Brown. Joshua Brown. Miracle Brown. Kayla Bumpers. Shayla Bumpers. Destiny Butler. Barada Clanton. Joshua Cotman. Dominique Crawford. Jalen Curry. Anthony Dandridge. Kaylin Dark. Marquise Dark. Kaylani Diplata. Damian Diaz. Shakira Douglas. Christopher Dunnigan. Zanovia Eggleston. Amari Farmer. Fredasia Felder. Alicia Finney. Deanna Folgem. Isaiah Gaines. Elijah Garrett. Amaya Godfrey. Congratulations. Stephen Grant. Raynard Harris, Jr. Raven Harris. Demetrius Graves Gale. Traquan Harris McKenzie. Jaya Hayward. Melana Hunter. Taja Ingram. Jamel Jackson. Zion Jackson. Dea Jackson Montgomery. Dea 
Juanita James. Jasmine Jiggets. Douglas Johnson. Jaquela Jones. Jariah Jones. Shanika Jones. Aaliyah Knight. Jaysia Lawson. Jamelia Legrant. Brianna Lynch. Charles Mackey. Yolanda McCall. Nidasia McKinley. Say your name. Deidre McLean. Demar McRae. Aubrey Merritt. <laughs> Jelena May. Amari Miller. Kanaya Mills. Devante Moon. Devante Moon. Shaim Morgan. Terrell Moses. Kishe Motley. Keenan Neville. Charletta Pinkney. Dion Rainey Jr. Donovan Ransom. Germany Revis. Amia Robinson. Armel Robinson. Katera Robinson.
Dejan Robinson. Christopher Robinson. River Robinson. Shaquem Robinson. Stefan Rodwell. Lewis Rogers. Dominique Ross. Walia Ross. I got that's okay. Javon Sanderford. Rasan Ross. Shoye Samson. Shoye Samson. Michael Shaw. Demisha Scott. <laughs> Johanna Scott. <laughs> Reva Sledge. Jade Smith. Tahim Spain. Imani Stark. Princess Stark. Brian Stinson. Alexis Stokes. Mashawn Stokes. Arvis Taylor. Josiah Taylor. Moses Taylor. Sandria Taylor. DeAndrea Thomas. Natalia Thomas. You gotta tell me your name. Where's the car? Come here. Asia Tyler. Jada Tyson. Darren Underwood. <laughs> Roman Vaughn. Sincere Vaughn. Kiara Vinny. Chad 
Brett Wallace. Miera Warden. Marquis Watson. Toriana Williams. Janasia Williams Lewis. Emil Williams Motley. Destiny Winston. Ayana Witherspoon. Jontasia Woods. Asia Young. Good afternoon. If you'll be seated, I'd ask that we have one more thing to do before the recessional. Would the class of 2019 please stand? <laughs> class of 2019, by the virtue of the authority invested in me, as the principal of John Marshall, the laws of the Commonwealth of Virginia and the governing regulations and policies of the Virginia Department of Education and the Richmond City School Board. I hereby confirm that the seniors of the class of 2019, whose names have been presented to me, are now graduates of John Marshall High School. Please move your tassel from the right to the left. If everybody would please rise, we're going to sing the alma mater before the recessional. 